place Alex Trebek on Jeopardy? I have the perfect scenario. Okay. I've thought about this. I actually spent time thinking about this today. Okay. Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane. And what you have to do is Stewie does the first uh, block. I'm a dirty, foul little boy. Uh And and Brian does double Jeopardy. Uh, I've got to go out in the hall and chew on the back of my ass for about five minutes. Mm-hmm. And then Peter does the the final one. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard anyone say about anything. Okay, that wouldn't work because the whole idea of Jeopardy is you got to be kind of serious. You got to be straight laced. You know, a lot of people were throwing out names of comedians, and it's like, but a comedian makes it about them. The beauty of Jeopardy is that it's about the question and the answer and the contestant. Okay, bye. Stop making noise. If Seth was doing it in Stewie voice or Brian voice, you would watch it. Oh, my God. You're right. You would have to. No, I wouldn't. That sounds dumb. (laughs) I think it's brilliant. So what do you think? I thought you meant Seth MacFarlane as Seth Seth MacFarlane because that would make the most sense. But no. So the person who uh, they've asked in the past to do it and who Alex Trebek himself has said he wanted was George Stephanopoulos. Mm. And and, uh, in May... Stephanopoulos told Howard Stern that he thinks it would be fun. He would do it. You know, he's not actively lobbying for the gig, but talk is that that's who they're considering. It has to be. See, here's the problem. It has to be somebody who works for ABC. So they've thrown out a bunch of names. Okay. Betty White. Love her. Too old. No. Ken, Ken Jennings. Yes. He's a that's, contestant. That's the other one. I think. Maybe Ken get. Jennings. Um, a guy named Alex Faust who was an L.A. Kings hockey announcer. Mm-hmm. Um, Laura Coates, who is a legal analyst for CNN. Ugh, boring. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think, you know, there's this pressure now to have somebody, either a woman or somebody of color or mm. somebody woke. I say get Lester Holt. He checks all the boxes. Good evening, everyone. The wall of secrecy that normally surrounds the grand jury process has been pierced. Okay. He's smart as heck. Everybody takes him seriously. He is a really good announcer. He would be able to, it, he wouldn't make it about himself. You know what I mean? He'd make it about the question and the answer and the contestant. Um, and he's a person of color. So if they're worried about having another white guy in there, and that's sort of an edict these days, he's, I think Lester Holt is the perfect candidate. And he can pronounce all those words because that's the hard thing is pronouncing some of that stuff. And you got to be able to roll your R's like Alex did. So that's the hard part is he had to sit there and learn every single name and how to pronounce it correctly before each show. So that's the hard part. So you got to get somebody like Lester who could actually pull that off. Yeah, I think he can. Uh, Stephen Alpus would do a good job, too. But I say Lester Holt. Lester Holt, in my opinion, is underutilized at NBC. Bring him over to ABC Throw him on Jeopardy and just be done with it. Oh, My yeah. boyfriend wants Chris Hartwick. No, 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 no. Well, I said no. Chris Hartwick is just too, he's too smarmy. He's too like, hey, and he's, and then remember he has that whole scandal going on. It's going to turn off women. It's not going to be a good idea. Somebody else suggested Jon Stewart, which again, great host, but he would make it, he's funny. He'd make it about himself. He'd make jokes. That's not what Jeopardy, Jeopardy's not a comedy show and it wouldn't work as a comedy show. Yeah, somebody said Strahan. Strahan better not get it. Plus, he's on everything anyway. He's on everything else anyway. Yeah, that's true. And it better not be Ryan Seacrest. They better, anybody but Ryan Seacrest. I gotta say, he'd be a good choice. Although he's already doing a million shows for them. You can't you can't have Ryan Seacrest do Jeopardy because Jeopardy's a daily show. You can't do two daily shows and have your radio show and mm-hmm. do American Idol. Remember, he, he was he practically had a stroke just doing American Idol and his morning show at the same time. So right. you can't don't don't put more on his shoulders. But you're right. It's gotta be somebody that can pronounce the words and not make it about them. So and that's somebody where, everybody loves. Like Lester Holt is so beloved. Everybody loves Lester Holt. I know Ken Jennings would fit so perfect in that, though. Yeah, he's a good choice, too. Brian Cranston would fit perfectly in that, too. Yeah, but then but he wants to be an actor. He's an actor. You, remember, this is a big commitment. This isn't like Leslie Jones doing Supermarket Sweep, you know, every Sunday night at 8. Mm-hmm. 
that's a little plug for her because I really love her. Um, <laughs> but they threw her name out there. And, no, no, and, but that's but that, that's just one. Not good. Yeah, she she's goofy and funny. She's perfect for Supermarket Sweep because she's goofy and funny, and she plays with the contestants and she makes it fun. That's what Supermarket Sweep is. Jeopardy is more serious, and she's she'd have to be serious, and that's that's just not. It's not enjoyable watching Leslie Jones be serious. It's a waste of Leslie Jones, you know. Plus, it's only one day a week when she does Supermarket Sweep. This is Monday through Friday. You can't put Brian Cranston in there. Well, a couple of months ago, they would bring when when uh, Alex came out and said what he was going through. They would do special. Let's go to the board and Brian Cranston will ask this question. Here's our special guest. Many folks weren't happy with the Nobel Committee's decision to give the 1918 chemistry prize to ammonia synthesizer Fritz Haber, as he had also overseen Germany's production and use of this on World War I's Western Front. I'm a 16. Back to Brian. The Russian Academy of Sciences rejected this great man's 1880 nomination for membership, maybe because of his progressive political leanings, and maybe because he proposed to a much younger woman while he was still married to his first wife. It's, it's no Alex Trebek. So you need somebody that is smart, beloved, and likable. Ryan Reynolds did really good when he made him do a category. So he should do it as Deadpool. I got places to be, a face to fix, and oh, bad guys to kill. Okay, that now you got me. Him as Deadpool, I would. That's there's your because Ryan Reynolds as himself, too goofy as Deadpool. Right, you take that seriously. <laughs> you would have to watch every night. That's the coolest thing ever. It every would, night, and you have, better answer that question correctly, or else you would. It would have a nine hundred chair. You would have to watch it. Today was about as much fun as the sandpaper dildo. And anybody but Joe Buck. Don't put Joe Buck in there either. He's too busy calling every baseball game and every football game. No. This is very close to the butt fumble now that I look at it. I only know him from Brock Meyer. I didn't realize he was a real guy. <laughs> Joe Buck? Yeah. Yeah, he announces every baseball game, every football game. He's the go-to guy. Hank Azaria has this show, Brock Meyer, if you haven't seen it on IFC. And he has this like rivalry back and forth with Joe Buck, who I thought was a character on the show. My boyfriend's like, no, he's a real guy. That's his name. And he, he has a sports job. Like, he's a real sports guy. 